Now that we're in a OneNote notebook in Office 365 Online, we may have the need to actually edit in the desktop version of OneNote so that we have full functionality when we're editing. So let's check out how to do it. So here on the menu bar, you see File, Home, Insert, View, and Print. Now if you keep going to the right, you're going to see Open in OneNote. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Open in OneNote, and I'm going to go ahead and allow it. Now if it does say it has identified a potential security concern, you know that this is your notebook and that's okay. Notice that it comes to a sign-in for your Office 365 account for online, so go ahead and sign in with your account. What's really crucial is not to check the box called Keep Me Signed In, because you're on any computer doing this. So choose Sign In. So after a moment, you're going to notice that your notebook has fully opened on your computer. So I actually made a change here on my notebook. Now that we've made that change, let's go ahead and sync our notebook to Office 365 Online. To do that, right here where it says Trial Notebook, we're going to click on the drop-down caret to reveal all the different notebooks we have. We're going to go to our trial notebook and we're going to right click and it says sync this notebook now. Also notice it says shift plus F9. So if you didn't want to have to go to the drop down to say sync this notebook now, you can also choose shift F9. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Look for the little syncing icon right there that's going to show up on that trial notebook. There it is. Alrighty, so it has sync to Office 365 online. Now you go back to the actual notebook here in your Office 365 account, click on your trial notebook here so it opens online, and check to see if any of your changes were made. So here I'm going to go back to my sections. Ah, there it is, changed on my computer. So once again, the key is right here at trial notebook, you go to the notebook, you right click and sync this notebook now or shift F9.